Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be going over how Sandstorm broke Brahalla with Arcadia. If you don't really know, there was a winter championship that happened just like a month or so ago in February, and Sandstorm placed fifth with a character we have never seen before in the top eight of Brahalla, Arcadia. Arcadia is some of the craziest signatures, and so what I did was I pulled up his set against Impala. He played Impala twice, actually lost in the loser side. Impala adapted, but I want to see how Sandstorm storm used arcadia to get completely in impala's head anyways so i got this video we're gonna be going over and just reviewing and seeing exactly how sandstorm broke brahalla let's get into this so there's a lot of little things that sandstorm does we're not going to go over absolutely everything but it's more about arcadia as a character i want to really break this down okay little side lay and Paula doing pretty well we could we could break this down way further but i really want to look at arcadia's signatures right um Right there, right? Just throwing it a down sig and raw neutral. Look at Impala. Impala has no idea how to punish that. Um, we're just gonna go back for one second. Um, it's gonna be a couple seconds. There's no way of me going back that short. Here, where is it? Where is it? Come here. Okay, here we go. Gets the spear, right? And then I think immediately he down sigs. Impala could have honestly sared, right? But was so scared, jumps away, right? This is just the beginning of the set. <laughs> That's how scary Arcadia's signatures were. They they were slightly nerfed. A little follow up right there, right? Here here's a key example. This down sig, the the hitbox on spear down sig. If you don't know, it's a lingering hitbox. So Impala needs to make a decision. Do you a wait off stage for the down sig to end and then? it's kind of still the same as being off stage or b do you try and like punish this go up and around so you'd have to go like one jump two jumps then waste like a recovery or a dodge um it would just be kind of a mess right especially you don't want to go up and around because you're just wasting so many options so the smartest thing here is for impala to kind of just wait and let's yeah you have to like just wait out these options on arcadia it's so funny and there's another down sig. You just gotta keep waiting. He doesn't keep waiting. He gets hit with the down light. That's how broken this character is. Sans are improving it. Um, so yeah, it's just really interesting already. And Spear in itself doesn't have many dead zones. Okay, so here's a little bit of adapting. So before Sandstorm down sig and Paul backed off, he's like, what do I do? Now it's like, okay, I can just side air him if he down sigs in neutral. So we see a little bit of adapting. Good little down sig. Again, VLC media player um literally trolling the video. Okay. Really clean from Impala. So how does Sandstorm bring this back? Does he bring back this first game? I actually didn't see this set live. We can kind of break down all these options. Another down sig. <laughs> it's the exact same. It's so crazy. Oh, thank you, VLC. Great. Another down sig. And you just see Impala wait it out. And then that was just a clean end sig. Crazy. That end sig hitting grounded. I want to go over that. Look how Impala also gets back to stage. Really smart to get back to stage this way. Um, so he down sigs, waits out the down sig, and then I believe he jumps up to the ledge. Yeah. So when you jump up to hold the ledge, you can actually slide up the stage. So you can kind of see he kind of slides up instantly. Sandstorm goes for this end sig. What a jump read. Really clean option. Um, risky to go for that. Um, especially you're just completely predicting your opponent at that point. Let's see. We're on the second stock. Nice little Sarah. Another down sig. Look at that as well. It doesn't let me go back exactly. Is that like round here? Yeah, so down sigs. And then Impala going for the punish on the down air. You think that down sig has recovery frames? Uh-uh. Boom. Clean down air. It's just conditioning. You'll see top pros. Um, you usually see this on more broken weapons. I used to do this back in like 2020. Using, um, I call it tempo. Um, that's what Daiku taught me. It's attacks that have like almost no recovery frames that are just baits at the end of the day. So like that down sig creates tempo. And you see this so often in gameplay. I want to like talk about this. It's just pure tempo. That side there from Impala, pure tempo. That Nair, pure tempo. End light is impunishable, or it is, or whatever. Sandstorm gets like a clean little punish. Another down sig. So crazy. But take a look at this. That downer, tempo. Sandstorm cannot punish it. Doesn't even choose to. Tries to, um, but also uses kind of tempo, but gets punished. I would have side light there. I'm just, bi I'm different like that. <laughs> and yeah, dude, Arcadia is a character straight out of multiverses with these projectiles. Oh my god. If you know, you know. Ugh. Great sword, Sarah. Hardy thinks it's trash now. Gets a spear. 
clean. You can see a lot of like discomfort from Sandstorm. This is a new pick for him. It's uh, very interesting that like a new pick going straight into Impala, the world champion. Oh my god, I actually want to go back there. Just seeing how he uses, again, it's tempo, right? Oh, did I go like too far? It was 202 before. Yeah. Okay. Look at this, look at this. Right? Down sigs. Oh, thank you, VLC, for being great as always. Okay, down sigs. Impala's kind of away. You can't punish that down sig from there. I don't know why you're trying to. Um, thank you, VLC, for uh, breaking as always. Anyways, Sansom's avoiding it. I need to get a different software right next to the uh, Nice little Nair. Then, again, that Nair that Sandstorm just did, tempo. You can't really punish it. And Paula tries to and then gets punished. But kind of just watch it again with that tempo lens. That Nair, unpunishable. That end light, or that, uh, then Kaya tried to punish her and Paula tried to punish. And then Sandstorm punishes. That Sarah as well, unpunishable. Actually, Impala doesn't go for the punish and then gets a punish on the dodge. You'll see it's a lot of players can throw stuff out if the move is unpunishable. That down sig is definitely a habit from Sandstorm that worked on the first stock, but you can't do it right next to Impala like that. Clean side sig. Arcadia sigs are some of the best in the game. It's actually crazy. Same with that down sig. <laughs> Impala didn't have bow, so like wasn't as comfortable punishing it and tried to unarm there and just like you can't. Nice. That was look at the little micro movements that Sandstorm did right there. I, I don't even know if you guys noticed that. He does a dash cancel. Um It was so fast that like here, take a look at this. End lights. Let's see this. Look at this. Dash. That's a dash cancel. See how he's holding back? Stops the momentum completely. Actually walks back a little bit to reposition to hit the end light. That little movement to reposition really fast is so crazy. I want to show you guys that again. You saw another dash cancel right there. If you guys don't have dash cancels in your gameplay, I would definitely practice the input. Um, Singeray actually taught me them back uh, last year. Basically. Yeah, you see a little dash cancel. Boom. Another dash cancel. Then goes for the downside. Just... So clean. I'm not hearing the audio now. Oh, now we are. Nice little GC side light. Okay. Let's see. Final stock. How does Sandstorm probably clutch this? I think Sandstorm won. It's the weapon. Nice little... Look at this. Again, tempo with that Sair. It's actually punishable. The Sair was intended for a follow-up, but a lot of players will just not punish it. Really clean from Impala. Down sig. Look at this. You have to waste options. Unpunishable. Sansom tries to cover with a down there. Crazy. Down light. Unpunishable. I, I, again, I'm just going to reiterate on tempo. This is like such an important thing. It happens in gold play, like gameplay, but it's more like if you're in gold, you're not necessarily going to land the punishes as cleanly. Um, so sometimes like you'll use it as tempo. It's like when you try and punish, but you can't. But a lot of players in gold, they can punish. They're just not putting themselves in a position to be able to. But at, at this level, right? Like, even that Scyther, unpunishable. Or, uh, it is punishable, but uh, that's because Scyther has been nerfed over the years. Um, but maybe some gold players want to punish that. So, let's see. That end light, unpunishable. Sandstorm shouldn't go for a punish. Goes for a down light, that's also unpunishable. So, it's fine. Goes for a downer, unpunishable. You can see Impala's not even trying. Goes for a recovery, that's also unpunishable. End light, unpunishable. Down stick, unpunishable. Do you see how much tempo these players are using? And... The biggest that oh, was really clean movement to get like to avoid that and like wait I actually want to go back to that, um. But yeah, th this is just like a big thing to realize, and this is how Sandstorm really broke for Hollow with Arcadia. The amount of pure pressure tempo creates this end light and Paula can't do sh anything. This down sig and Paula can't do anything. Right then, look at this and. Sandstorm's in a perfect position. Just fast fall end light to avoid the end light. That's crazy. Nice weapon toss. Tempo again. So crazy. Unpunishable. Okay, that end light is punishable. Sair unpunishable. Unless you walk into an end light. So much tempo. And with spear, you stay stationary, right? If you're on a, a weapon like Lance, for instance. I'm talking about Lance because I play Lance. If I use a cider, I don't stay in position. I have to completely reposition. The D light and end light, definitely, you can use for tempo. Um, even signatures on Vrax, like Vrax neutral sig on Lance, great signature for tempo. But a lot of it, like I, if I want to nair, then I have to jump. I used to use nair the most for tempo, and I still do. 
But uh, this is on another level. What Spear and Arcadia is able to do right now. Look, Dare, Tempo. He's just fishing for Impala to try and punish, but Impala's not confident punishing those. Completely ignores those two downers from Sandstorm. Right? And you just see this night and day. What is VLC doing? I'm going to look up a fix of this after. And then, yeah, very clean from Impala. The biggest thing is just patience, right? Like, not feeding into Sandstorm's uh, ways. Look at this. Like, I, again, I'm just reiterating the tempo. Okay, never mind. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look how much tempo. Right? Okay, get ready. Boop. Unpunishable. Because <laughs> uh, where Impala is, you just don't... Maybe jump Nair. Wrong punish option. Boop. Sider. Actually, it's punishable. Because Sarah's gotten nerfed over the years. Downer. Nothing you can do. Downer. Nothing you can do. Right? Downer, clean punish. Side light actually gets a punish because he's in a good position. It's all about just realizing the position and making that decision. Can you punish? Can you not punish? Tempo is giving you that decision, and then you have to make the right decision. It's it. Okay, let's see how Sandstorm adapts. Downer, actually punish it. Kind of more of the movement, not necessarily it. Yeah, punish the e sig Nice. A little clean from Impala. Good side light. Good try on the nair. Downer. Look at Impala using it as well. You see that dare? Sandstorm bites, and then Paula gets a punish. Uh, I'm going to, like, go slow on this one. Again, just very clean. Look at this. Okay, it was... So, Psy there. This is... Okay, it lands. Thank you, VLC. Okay, let's see. Nice little weapon toss. Doesn't get the follow. Look at that down there. That Impala just does. Sandstorm bites, and Paula gets the punish. It's all tempo. Making Sandstorm, forcing him to make a decision. Should I try and punish that downer or should I uh, uh, should I do nothing or like position myself? And he tries to punish the downer. Wrong, wrong answer. Because it's unpunishable in that situation. Nair as well. Should Impala try and punish? Maybe not. Kind of missed. Um, didn't get punished himself, so it's fine. And like, yeah. It, uh, Dare as well actually gets punished because more of the movement. Ooh, why would a recovery? That simply would not happen to me. And Impala has a very clean lead here. Does he actually win game two? No, Sandstorm won this game. Again, I have not, like, seen this. Okay, let's see this. How did Sandstorm come back here? Nice snare, nice snare. Great start. Nair is one of the best snares in the game. That down sig, again, tempo. Nothing you can do on bow there. Ooh, risky Sarah. Great Sword Sarah is actually underrated. Um, the only problem is I hate when it like latches onto the ground. But that was super clean. Sandstorm just brings it back just with like neutral exchanges. He's just like landing a couple hits. It's not like just that. It's like a lot more. Look at that. Down sig tempo. It's so much tempo in Sandstorm's gameplay. He's the one who really taught me tempo from playing against him. The amount of times this guy whiffs intentionally is ridiculous. He's just forcing his opponent to make these mistakes. Again, there, the end light in terms of the positioning. Take a look at this. I go 520. Look at this. Okay. Recovery, blah, 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 whatever. Impala, down lights. Maybe Sandstorm meant to neutral air. Impala did not get a clean punish here. It's just way too slow. Then Sandstorm gets his own punish. Good try. Got punished for it. Again, look at the tempo. Two attacks in a row. Three! Three whiffs and then gets a punish. I'm going over this again. This is how he breaks Brahala. Look at this. Look at this. Impala whiffs intentionally. Sansom actually got the punish because he's crazy on it. Then I think he gets punished here. Yep. Now take a look at this. Look at this. So a little dash dodge, right, to reposition. Now look at these whiffs. Impala is using movement to try and bait it out. Look at this. And light in the complete opposite direction. Doesn't he, maybe he tried to land the attack. Either way, it's so broken. And Paul's already narrowing. Maybe Impala could have landing Sared. Um, but Sandstorm probably just didn't expect it to be punished. Then take a look at this as well. Down sig, completely unpunishable. Another whiff. Okay, there's no chance he tried to actually land this down sig. It's just to throw Impala off with tempo. He's breaking Brahala. Right? And then again, get ready, this Greatsword Scyther. It doesn't matter if he whiffs, because guess what? It has so much momentum and no recovery frames. He jumps and dodges out of the way because Impala's on the ground. Maybe Impala should have downlighted, but it doesn't matter. Gets a punish.
Again, the side light. Tempo! So cool. Actually, this is this is how Sandstorm breaks Barhalla. That down sick kind of tempo in itself. That down light is tempo. Even though they're trying to like use these, like, like punish their opponent, they're using the right moves that have the least probability of being punished because they're so broken. I'm not saying to add more recovery frames to them. I'm saying to take some from land. No, I'm kidding. And sick in the opposite direction. <laughs> like, down sick. Do you see the stuff he's doing with Arcadia? Yes, you can do this with some other characters too. But it's just pure tempo. He's just over-pressuring his opponent because his opponent is not used to fighting in Arcadia in a bracket. These, like, commentators and everyone, they kind of ignore the fact pros intentionally miss so often. That down sick, even the Sarah is, like, basically not punished. This side light unpunishable. This is my great sword that's pretty broken. Unless you do a down light because that was a weird down light. Um, it's just decision making if you should go for the right tempo. Look at all these whiffs! Do you see what Sandstorm is getting away with? Look at that! He's just whiffing! Whiff, 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 whiff! <laughs> Look at all these attacks being missed! Whiff! Nice coverage. Whiff! 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 It got punished. Do you see? Whiff! Got punished. Because side air is just punishable. It's so hard to move out of it. All the side airs are being punished, but the down lights? Broken. The down airs? Broken. These down sigs and whatnot? Broken. That side air actually, that was good tempo too. It's all just like decision of like when to go for this tempo. But these moves that are like keeping you in place, like these side airs and down sigs, are allowing your yourself to position really optimally. When a move, you're forced to move with it, like guitar recovery, even guitar down air. It's so much harder to use tempo with these moves. And Lance has a ton of them, um, I know, um, because you can't control your position. Like you can, but you can't control being on stage, holding stage control. It's different. It's just you're you're essentially zoning your opponent with hitboxes. It's a boxing tool. That's what they call it in other fighting games. Where it's just keeping them away and throwing stuff out. I do this in multiverses with uh, Velma's Sair and whatnot. Down Sig completely doesn't get punished. Look at all these whiffs again. Get ready. He's going to whiff like 10 times. Good end light. Whiff. Good Sair. So clean. It's just Arcadia being Arcadia. I don't know why Paul is running into them all, but he's trying not to play Sandstorm's game. And just really pay attention to how Sandstorm abuses tempo to, br like, again, they're breaking Brahalla with Arcadia. As, you know, he is. Very clean, very optimal punish. Ooh, very clean. Bit risky. Ooh. This is just really clean neutral so far. Um, also, just decision making. Um, that was good from Impala. Just really good movement baiting out Sandstorm. Try. Good Nair. Good weapon toss. Good side light. Ooh. Clean. Yo, Hardy, great sword's broken. <laughs> and clean recovery. Nice Nair, because Nair's one of the best Nairs in the game. Good. Tempo. He's going to use some more tempo here. He's going to throw out some stuff. Okay. The end sig is, I guess, fishing core as well because it's a really good end sig. Okay. Clean little lead, but how does he continue this lead? Watch the tempo. Sare, whiff. End light, whiff, but that was more to hit him because the end light is very punishable there. Very clean from Impala. Let's keep watching. Good side light. Very clean stage control from Impala here. You can kind of see that recovery. Now he has to reset. So that's interesting. Look at all this tempo. Look at all of these whiffs. Oh my god. I need to show you how many of those there were just there. Let's see. So he hits them off stage. Now look at this. One. That's one whiff. Okay. Come on, VLC. Okay. That's two. The ground pound. VLC, stop being bad. Okay, that's three with the down sig. And now VLC's bad again. Four with the end light. Five with the down air. 
Six with a down sag. Seven with a sigh there. All unpunished. This guy did seven attacks in a row. All completely unpunished. That is crazy. Eight! <laughs> Got punished. But yeah. You can see his game plan in neutral at least especially in advantage state when he gets that stage control there's time there's a time and a place like when you're in neutral here you can't get away with so much okay maybe that down sig you can but even then if it's not in the right position to hit um and paula can just side here but like when you have slight advantage state constant pressure with just tempo and just throwing out attacks intentionally on whiffing down sig right now he's probably side there but got punished for it was probably going to go for a down air there. Down, down air into end light. Do you see the tempo? Ridiculous. Clean down air. And then he went for the edge guard. Tempo. Clean. He's just... He's getting in Impala's head with this. Tempo. Yeah, clean. Nice little ground pound. Okay, they take the stock. Go for a near anti -air or air -air option. That's there. Nice. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be careful with the tempo again, like what I said. If you're doing it when it's even, so you don't have advantage state, um uh, it's pretty easy to punish sometimes. But in neutral, there is a time and a place when to use tempo. You just gotta be a bit more cautious. But when you have advantage state, throwing out, like you'll see Sandstorm just throw out these attacks. Look at that tempo from uh Impala there. Like just moves it, it's button mashing, but all of it was completely unpunished here. Look at this. Side light, unpunished, because Sandstorm has no option in his sweating. End light, unpunished. Then Sandstorm goes for a dumb punish. End light, that was more button mashing, got punished for it. Now neutral, a bit less tempo. That end light gets punished, right? You're, you're in, that Sarah was still tempo, because Impala was in the air. It's a lot of like decision making like that. End light, pretty good. Impala with a nice wake up. A little nice punish from Impala. Now he's in advantage state Impala. Maybe uses some tempo. Don't see as much from Impala though. Sandstorm is the tempo king. Gets the down sig. That side light was probably intentionally for tempo, but Impala was too close. Thank you VLC once again for uh, always uh, lagging. End light, side light, all tempo. Great sword is broken. There's a ground in there. Down sing. Sir, do you see all these whiffs? Hardy, great sword is broken. There's no way the world champion is whiffing against great sword. Look at this. I, I'm just highlighting this again. One, two, three, four, five. Does it keep going? He's in neutral too. Six, seven, eight. Oh my god, this guy missed eight attacks in a row, all unpunished. <laughs> uh, that is crazy. And he dares there as well for the same purpose. Crazy. Downsig, end light, that's two. Do you see how many whiffs he's getting in his mind by playing broken weapons? <laughs> I think, yeah, just a clean punish. I don't know why Impala tried down sig. And then look at that again. The down sig then goes for a Sarah. It's all tempo. His entire game, Sandstorm, and he's done this since the dawn of time. It's throwing out attacks when he knows they're not punishable. I don't know why you're in sigging. <laughs> he does make mistakes. But he was the king of this, and he still is really good at it. Big reason why he's on top. Look at this. In so in neutral, like, you're not necessarily going to use as much tempo. Clean from Impala actually gets up 2-1. So Sandstorm bring this, brings this back. I'm actually very curious. Do they show attack hit percentage? I, I want to see what Sandstorm's accuracy percentage is. It must be so low. Uh, it's not showing the accuracy percentage. It used to. Like, it's like attacks landed over attacks total. Do they show it? Maybe. Guess not. Well, they used to show it. It's such a useful stat. But yeah, just really, with this tempo lens, watch how Sandstorm abuses Arcadia. It's crazy. And again, you won't see it that much in neutral, other than the down sig there. Like, you'll see it with these obvious attacks with down sig, end light there, another down sig. He's playing a zoning character. He's playing a completely different game. Down sig, tempo. 
clean from Impala, just being patient, picking his right fights. A lot more like Meg D style, where it's like waiting for the right opportunity. And he's like taking his time to make sure he makes the right decision. When Sandstorm is trying to get in his head, make him make mistakes. Down Sig. Right now, Impala's a bit smarter. Look at this edge guarding. Arcadia. Arcadia! Crazy. Down Sig. Oh my god. And then. Mm. Impala must have been like, like infuriated. I would be tilted. Like, how do you? How does this not get in your head? Side air, unpunishable, or at least there. End light that doesn't get punished. Uh, tries to go for the weapon, so he gets hit with down sig. Impala is a lot more like strategy in terms of like, like fundamental. Like as long as I don't miss and I make the right decisions. Where Sandstorm, like yes, that plays into it, but he is just throwing attacks out. It's not even playing aggressive. It's just baiting. And he is the, I'm not say, the master at, uh, at baiting. Um, wow, I didn't think I'd say that on a YouTube video. Um, if you're watching until now, then uh, comment what I just said. Uh, okay. Uh, ignore, <laughs> ignore everything. <laughs> End lights in the opposite direction. Completely unpunished. Sandstorm. Um, very clean from Impala. Just, again, he, he's more calculated. Just picking and choosing the right fights. Um, that down sig is tempo there. That side sig kind of was. We got punished for it. They both use it, but Sansom, it's part of his game plan. Where Impala, it's, it's not as much. Nice end light. It's like pure accuracy. This guy's a sniper. Clean punish on the down sig. That down light is tempo because it's broken. Look at that. It just both goes unpunished. You can see how good an attack is if like you're TWK watching these tournaments. He's the guy who does balance with Brahala. Um, uh, just deciding if a move needs more recovery frames or not. It depends how often are they being used with tempo. If they're really used quite often with tempo, yeah, I would give it a couple more recovery frames. Like if it's abusable, you know. And Sandstorm is a king of finding th these kind of things. By the way, Sandstorm. Oh, this is the elimination bracket. I think Impala actually wins this. I may have downloaded the wrong set. Whatever. Yeah, I think Impala does actually win this set. Um, so I guess we'll see how Impala gets around, but the title still stands. He got fifth at this tournament with a legend that's probably under level 30 for him. I'd be surprised if he was under level or over 40. Okay. I, yeah, I think Impala wins this here. So Impala definitely just calculations, just made a little bit of adapting decision mid turning, but he, he lost in the winner's side to this. Super clean from Impala. It's just playing a lot smarter um, and also doing really well in advantage state. Um, Impala is really good at advantage state. When he gets that stage control, it's just tons of control with Spear and Bow. So yeah, very clean in the run back. I made a mistake on the set I downloaded, but that still doesn't uh, change the fact that Sandstorm was breaking Brahalo with Arcadia, using tempo to his advantage. And even tempo on greatsword, but on spear as well. Just you can see him throwing out these attacks that fundamentally should probably be more punishable in Brahala. Um, if I was someone with balance and I'm looking at a move like, you know, the down sig on Arcadia, that's literally throwing out a projectile and like impossible to punish from off stage. Maybe it shouldn't be so good on stage at winning neutral. Same with the greatsword down sig and maybe some other attacks that were used for tempo. But um, yeah. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know what you think of the style of the video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.